Hey guys, welcome back to At Home with Lady Cinnamon. Today, guys, I'm super excited. It's part two of a series of our house to home for making little tweaks to our new home, and I'm super excited. We're gonna be making some changes in the kitchen, and this will be in maybe two parts because there's a lot to do. And we absolutely love the way it looks right now. We just wanna change out the hardware, pull the microwave, do a backsplash, and do a little bit more changes just to give it a little bit more of an elevated look so it doesn't feel or give that feeling of it being builder grade. First things first, we are going to go ahead and remove the microwave. You can see those large bolts at the top. The hubby is unscrewing those, then we're gonna remove the rack that holds it in place. If you're gonna do this, be careful. It's super heavy, those type of microwaves. And we're going to replace it with this range hood that we picked up from a big box store and I'm loving it. So make sure that when you do this, guys, that you get the range that's going to work for you, whether it's ductless or ducted and also, um, you know try to figure out the size so it'll fit to scale we looked at one it wasn't big enough um, we had to take it back um, so make sure that you're going by the size of your cabinets um, because the smaller ones are going to look crazy if you have like 36 or 42 inch cabinets we have the one that fit now and i think it looks absolutely amazing for the size cabinetry that we have and next we're going to be moving on to the backsplash i I absolutely love the way this looks we were at floor and decor and I'm in love with everything in that store we chose um, just a nice light marble it's Viviano marble and it's um, the arabesque I absolutely love it it has movement in it even though it's not showing on camera and we get some edging that was marble to match this to give it more of um, an elevated look First things first though, we do have to remove this little quarter wall, I think that's what they call it. <laughs> and they put that on top of the quartz, I don't know why, but either way, we're all set and ready. We removed it and we're ready to go. And I absolutely love the way it looks. And you can see a little bit more of the color and the movement in the stone. This is the next day after it dried overnight and I'm loving it. We didn't even use spacers. The mesh that it comes on is basically all we needed. I don't know if I would recommend that or not, but you can see all of the warm tones and the marbling in this backsplash and I absolutely love it. It's very heavy and very thick and I think it's going to elevate the look of our space and that's what I'm loving about it. And it has sort of like um, a Moroccan feel and I think it's so pretty and classic. So this is what it looked like before and now I'm going to show you what it looked like after we got the grouting done. And I think it just automatically made the space look so much better and you can see that he also replaced the hardware. And one thing I'm a little wondering about is are these looking a little weird now? Like, should I change those? Maybe swap those out to give it even more of um, a higher end look. But I'm loving the edging with the marbling. I think that was a good choice. And this is the hardware. Now, the little, the little um, brushed color there, like that silver, it was just really small and washed out. And I think this looks so much better. And it's giving a lot of contrast. And I think it's really making the space feel a lot warmer and prettier and it's just looking overall a lot better to me um so yeah guys <laughs> um and I, the other things that we're going to be doing in our home in the kitchen are we're going to be switching out some of the other items but you can see he did upgrade the hardware on the island also and i just think it looks so much better and I'm absolutely loving the way everything is turning out so far. Now this faucet, we're going to actually change that out and swap that to match the hardware on the cabinetry. And we're also going to swap out our builder grade um, pendant lights. Not sure exactly what we're gonna get, but my home is really long with this open floor plan and it looks like a bowling alley it's so long and my island is about a little over 11 feet long so I'm thinking about getting something chunky but clear for um, creating negative space and not blocking that path and um, last but not least we're going to switch out these 
um, bar stools. They're okay, but I've had them since 2014. So I wanna get rid of this fabric and this nail head. It looks a little dated and go with something that's a little bit more, um, sort of a little bit more modern actually. And I'm thinking about going with some charcoal bar stools that I order or counter height from um, Pottery Barn. They're not gonna get here until mid-October. So I'll definitely come back with an update of how we finish out our kitchen. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching to the end. I love you. Give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Hit the bell when you do subscribe twice so you'll know whenever I upload a new video. And thank you all for watching.